Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome back you guys. It is time for another sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. So of course, before I get started, I want to say thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit that I'm going to show to you guys today. This kit is Generations by Laurie Prindle. Let me turn it sideways so you can see the pretty horsies. Oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, let me turn it back this way. This is a round drill kit. It seems like it's been a minute since I have unboxed something with round drills for you guys, but this is a round drill. It has the pink theming on the box. On the back, we have got some kit contents and we've also got some information about how to diamond paint. And then we have got our trusty coupon code there on the side and I will take this plastic off. Sorry, uh, there's a little bit of glare today. I'm working in a new filming location, which I hope will be much better, but uh, I'll have to work on the lighting. We shall see how it goes. All right, the plastic is off, but before I tear into this box and forget, I do want to mention the release for this kit is going to be tomorrow, and that is Saturday, October the 22nd. It will release at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time, but that's for Diamond and Ruby level members, and it'll be 30 minutes later for the general access release. Okay, let's open this kit up and see. Oh, the glare is much better now that I got the plastic off, so I'm, I'm glad to see that. All right, here's our lovely toolkit, which we will look at in just a minute. I see this smaller sticker in here, which we will also look at. And let's pull out this canvas. Let me show you that smaller sticker a little closer. So this is just going to give you the title and the artist name and a smaller picture of the image. So beautiful. And a lot of people will stick these on the outside of their boxes just for aid in their storage situation. Some people use them in a log book. I still have all of mine just in a stack, just like they came, but they are still beautiful. And someday I'm gonna think of something creative to do. And this is our toolkit. This is the newer style toolkit, which I think is kind of the main kit we are seeing in kits these days. I think some of the older ones are still floating around. So if you get a toolkit that doesn't look like this, it comes in a different bag, it's, it's still gonna have everything you need, but I'm gonna show you what this style toolkit comes with. So this is what was inside that bag. We've got a small bag of baggies for kitting up or storage. We have got multi-placers. This is, I believe, a seven and a four placer if you like to multi-place. We have also got our diamond painting pin. This is, is this a black one? I thought it was brown, but I think it's actually black. Oh, that's cool. I've never gotten one of these not in this color. So the color may vary, so yours might not be a black one like this, but every color I've seen has been really pretty. And this is just the grippy or squishy that you put over the diamond painting pin. It just gives you a little bit more comfort and control while you are diamond painting. And we have got our red heart waxes in this pretty little heart container with a lid. And then I will show these two last because they are the most fun in my opinion. So we have got the diamond painting tray with a stopper. Okay, now we will look at these two. This is a washi tape. Oh my goodness. This is the shiniest one I've ever gotten. Oh, it's so pretty. A lot of people use the washi to tape around the edges of their canvas so it'll just keep dust and sleeve fuzzies and things like that off of that sticky part along the outside of the canvas. And then some people use it even to section off the canvas. So many different ideas on what you can do with this. This one is just, this one is like decoration. You could just put this anywhere, it's so pretty. And then we've got a pretty flower cover minder. I have not seen this one before. 
that it almost looks like candy. I mean, don't eat this. A disclaimer, do not eat. But it is so cute. So what you do with the cover minder, there are, there are two magnets here on the back and you just separate those. This smaller one goes underneath the canvas and then you fold that plastic cover back to where you want to work and then put this on the top and those magnets snap together just like that and it'll hold that plastic out of your way. Okay, now we can open this bag with the canvas. Let's see if I rip the bag. That is, that is something that I always seem to do. Yep, I did it. <laughs> I'm a terrible unboxer. Okay, I ripped the bag. You will not rip the bag, okay? You are better than that, but I, I ripped the bag every time. All right, I wanna see if I can get the drills to come out of here. Ooh, I did not expect pink. Uh, I'm always happy to see it though. Let's see if I can get the other items. Okay, we will look at this first and then we will unroll that pretty canvas. So this is the back. This is a thank you booklet. This just gives you a little information inside, some QR codes to scan to take you to different places. This one will take you to a step-by-step -step video with some instructions on how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group, which I highly recommend joining. You've got a coupon code in here. And then also on the back, you've got QR codes to scan to take you to Diamond Art Club's app, which I also highly recommend. The next thing we've got is this larger sticker sheet. So I'm going to show you this image again. Larger. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. It's just so pretty. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to gush about it some more later, but I'll stop for now. So this is going to give you the same information as that smaller sticker, but it also has a start and end date, so you can log your progress on here. So this one is really good for a logbook as well. Now this gives you the dimensions of the kit, so we will talk about that. It is 76 centimeters by 51 centimeters, so just a, a nice doable size. I'm looking forward to that. And then over here, we've got these individual stickers that peel off one by one just to help you with kitting up. And you can see here, we've got 45 colors and how many ABs? So your ABs are going to be under the color code 150. So that gives us two ABs and we will check out what those are in just a minute. And let me actually show you the drills all in the package because I love this part. I like to see them all bundled up together. Let's see if we can get a better view from this side. Oh yeah, that's the view I wanted. So much more pink than I thought. I'm excited about that. I do like these kind of muted tones that go with this piece. I don't know why sometimes, like I really do like bright colors. I think we all know that about me, but sometimes I like a piece with more muted tones, more neutral tones, just like, I don't know, it, it helps my brain relax, I guess. <laughs> also, I wanna show you that this bag has a label and it says the title of the piece. So you will be able to match these drills up with your canvas, even if you store them separately. So that is a helpful addition. Okay, are we ready to see it? I am ready to see it. Let me, oh, I think I've picked the right direction in everything. Wow, that's, that's some kind of record for me. Okay the lovely unroll here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one, this one just has the sweetest little face. Oh, how pretty. Okay. I'm going to flip this over and roll it backwards, which is not going to hurt the canvas. It is a poured glue canvas, so I can roll it backwards without hurting anything. But I do want to just let you know that a Diamond Art Club canvas will flatten out by itself in just a little while. But since I want to show it to you like right now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it backwards. Okay, much better. Isn't it so pretty? Now I can I can see where the pink tones are. I don't know why I was missing that in the in the smaller images that we were looking at, but now that I can see it large, definitely it needed some pink. I say that about just about everything, but I mean you can see these peachy pinks are working very well with the image.
I want to point out a few things about the canvas itself. So down here in this corner, you have got this information, the title, the dimensions again, and then the artist name, but this is your licensing information. So this lets you know that the artist, Laurie Prindle, has given permission and is being compensated for the use of this artwork. So if that is important information for you, then that's where you can find that. Also on each side, you can see that we have a legend. I'm trying to show you the other side. Okay, <laughs> there it goes. There's one over here as well. So however you flip, turn around, upside down your canvas, you'll still be able to access that. Now down here, we have got some information about Diamond Art Club socials, but also you have got another coupon code. So always be aware that Diamond Art Club is sending you coupon codes every time. So you should never have to pay full price. They clearly don't want you to pay full price. So full access to those coupon codes all over these kids. Now, since this is cut off on the corners, I am going to give you like an overview or a pan over or some type of look at this where you can see it all at once. by the color blends in this. I am really excited to get some drills down and see how that looks. Like this section here, look at all of those different colors. And then through here, like kind of colors that you don't expect, but I think are gonna work really, really well. Like, like almost lavenders, light pinks. I, I'm just so interested to see how that is gonna look. I bet it's gonna be so pretty. And speaking of drills and the drill colors, we are going to take a look at those next. So I am going to show you each of the drill packages one by one. So if you don't like this part, I will try to have a chapter or timestamp or something like that down below where you can skip to the next section where we're going to look at the AVs and where they go. 819, 414, 938, 3799, 3371, 310, 838, two bags of that, and 779, two bags of that, 967, two bags, 141, so this is our first AB, a nice chunky bag of it too. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis and hopefully it's picking up in the camera and you can see that excellent shine. So these just have a special coating on them that make them pick up the light a little differently. I, here, let me just show you. <laughs> this one here beside it. It's very sparkly, but it just doesn't have the same effect as this one. So pretty. So this one was 3041. We have 3042, 317, and 112. So this is our second AB, also a nice chunky bag. That's nice. So this one, I hope you can see the sparkle on there. That one is so pretty. I love this AB. Such a nice shine. 3859, 
3727, 223, 451, 413, 3857, 3726, 3743, 415, 778, 3802, 318, 315, 517, 300, 3830, 963, 758, 355, 3778, and 3777. Okay, that is all of the drills. So if you've skipped to here, then welcome back. We are now going to look at where those two ABs go. So we are going to start with the number one symbol, which is this 112 AB. And it is, it is pretty widespread. So I'm just gonna start at one end and kind of point it out as we move across. So this, this light brown, you can see that those are the symbol number one. So it just goes through here a bit. There is some higher up in what I believe to be that horse's ear. And then there is a good bit accenting the face, just kind of a few lines to make it pop and shine a little bit more. And a little down here underneath the little nose and then further down there is some down here just a little pop of it right there a nice little well I would call that a block I don't know if you guys would call that a block but a nice little section of the ones there and then as we move on over this horse's face has a good bit of it just sprinkled throughout. And then on the side here as well, there's a little bit there. And then moving on over, lots through here. And then it comes down all the way to this side. And it looks like there is just a tiny, tiny little pop right up there. And that is all of that AB. So the next one is the number two symbol, and that is the white AB, this 141. So this one is probably gonna be a little bit easier to spot because it is where you see the color white. So most of it is gonna be over here. And so, yeah, this, all of this is going to be, I mean, there is another very light color mixed in there, but you can see those twos. There are quite a few going through here. Then even, even a little pop right there, but then moving over all of this, it's just chock full of those twos, a little up here even. And then as we move over, another little section, some right there, this pretty little, little forehead of this little baby here, and then a little bit right there. And we'll move on over. It seems like it is less widespread on this side, but there still is some of that white AB right here. There is some through here as well, a little bit right there, and then a tiny bit in the ear up here. So it almost seems like there is more of the, the light brown AB in the top portion and then a lot more of the white AB in the bottom portion. So you will have 
like a nice shine overall, but it won't be like the same AB, if that makes any sense. I think that'll be a really nice effect. I am so ready to start working on this. I have been working on just square drill kits now for, oh gosh, it's coming up on like three months, two months. I don't know. I know I did a round in August, but this is making me really <laughs> excited to do another round. One other thing I do want to touch on before I let you guys go is the color blocking versus confetti. So when I saw this, I thought it was going to be just basically lots and lots of color blocking. But I, while I do think that, that there is color blocking, I would say that this isn't just like a full blocking piece. Now, when we were looking over here, obviously we can tell that this section is made up of many of the same symbols. So we see that Y a lot. We're seeing that A a lot, but it doesn't look like these are just like huge chunks of just like one color. It's not like that. This is definitely spaced out, but you could stay with that one color for a long time because there is a good bit of it. And then we saw the two, there's some little blocks there, but it's not just going to be blocking, blocking, blocking all day long because as we all know, that is, that is not my thing. So I definitely think that this one is going to have something for everyone. I mean, you can see through here, there's there's a good bit going on, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's a confetti nightmare for sure. I mean, there is a good bit of color changes through here, but still not an unreasonable amount. And even in these darker sections, this isn't all one color. You can see that T color, or, or I can drop it. You can see that T symbol and the U and then some of these little dashes. So we've, we've got things going on. I guess there's, there's some 310 over here. So plenty of different colors, but not an overwhelming amount. So I really kind of think that this is, this could please everyone, honestly. I think this is a good mix of color blocking and confetti. Okay, you guys, I've talked your ear off long enough. So I do wanna say one more time, thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit and then remind you that it is going to be releasing tomorrow morning. So if you got your eye on this, then be sure to keep a lookout for that text message or email, or just set your alarm, however you prefer to <laughs> notify yourself that it is time to purchase. So let me know down in the comments if you're planning to get this kit or already got it, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.